So now I'm hearing that since I did the interview, they've been they've been cracking. And it ain't it ain't really been Joe. It's been this one particular dude on the show uh, that that's been coming at me. Um, I don't even know his name, but I remember him because he sat to my left on the high chair and I've been trying to reach this dude and he ain't been, he ain't been calling me back. He ain't, he ain't been hitting me. I'm like, yo, nigga, let's, there's nothing we can't talk about. There's nothing we can't chop it up about. So what's up, everybody? This is the world famous Ed Lover and you are watching Forgotten Kings TV. That's right. Forgotten Kings TV. Come on, son. Uh, just jumping on, man. Checking in, saying what's up. Um, um. Oh God, fuck, man. All right, so. Everybody's calling my phone about this Joe Button podcast. Um, uh, so crazy because the interview has been out for a minute, but I guess I guess they just released it today on YouTube. And uh, now everybody's texting, hitting my phone, just talking about all the disrespect that. Like I don't even have a podcast. I mean, I don't. I don't. I have not subscribed to no podcast. Like, you know, I I I fuck with. You know, I see certain interviews. I don't. I don't listen to podcasts. I don't. I don't know what niggas is out here doing and saying. I don't really keep up, but I got niggas hitting my phone talking about. Ever since the interview aired, they've been coming at me, disrespecting me, taking shots at me, talking about my marriage, talking about, you know, whatever. Um, the crazy shit for me is um, I, I heard rumblings, you know what I mean, of, of niggas talking shit um, before I went on the podcast, you know, like, they like, yo, this nigga's like dedicating 15, 20 minutes every podcast talking shit, you know, beefing with The Rock, this and that, just Joe has been going at me crazy. Uh, and everybody has been making me the butt of their jokes. Um, and, you know, it, it is what it is. When you're a public figure and all your business is out there, you'll have niggas popping but it's just y'all know what it is it's like it's very easy to pop and then when you show up you like let's go nobody said nothing so now I'm hearing that since I did the interview they've been they've been cracking and it ain't it ain't really been Joe. It's been this one particular dude on the show uh that that's been coming at me. Um I don't even know his name, but I remember him cuz he sat to my left on the high chair and I've been trying to reach this dude and he ain't been he ain't been calling me back. He ain't he ain't been hitting me. I'm like, "Yo, nigga, let's there's nothing we can't talk about. There's nothing we can't chop it up about." So it's like I hit his phone, texting, calling, like, like, bro, you, you really, you, 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 you going below the belt with some of this shit you saying, you know? And um, so yeah, the interview just went live today on YouTube, and I was able to finally watch it because I have, a, I don't have no podcast, I don't have no subscription to the Joe Buttons podcast, so I just watched it. And then uh, I'm just like, wow, wow, <laughs> wow. Um, so if y'all know the dude, um, if y'all know the dude that, that sits in the middle in, in the high chair, you know, if y'all know who that is, 
Y'all just let them know I'm trying to get at them. You know, it's nothing we can't. Wait, hold on. Is his name Queen's Flip? That his name? Everybody's tagging. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm right here. Oh, wow. So you on the gram, huh? You on the gram, huh? You one of them niggas. I'm calling your phone. I'm leaving you voice notes. You know, on, on the iPhone, you leave a voice note. When a nigga gets your message, it disappears, right? So you trying, to, you trying to go up on the gram. Of course. Of course. Check your phone, bro. Call me direct. We not finna do all this shit on the gram. I'm just letting niggas know what it is. Matter of fact, I don't run from no smoke, bro. <clears throat> he won't fame, yeah. He called calling you out. Trying to go live with the nigga. Where you at? Wrong person, Ty. My bad. Yeah, you good, you good, you good. I I, I tagged him in. Now I put the name in there because his name Queens. That's that's my man that be doing all that crazy shit on uh Joe Button joint. He the one that sit in the hospital. Okay. Hey, what's his name? Uh, I think it's Queens Flip. He do all the joking, all that joint. Yeah. He the one that be yelling and joint with uh Jimmy, Jim, Jim Jones and all Got that. You. Yeah. All right, I'm, fam. Happy, happy, happy holidays right, too, Ty. I right, appreciate it. All right, you, fam. Bro. Come on. All right. Yeah, it don't take me long, bro. It never takes me long. He was just in my comments. Where did he go? See that? Checking my phone. <laughs> yeah, all for the ground. Yeah. Anyway, um, anyway, um, like I said, man, I'm, I don't, I don't really do well with, with grown ass men who sit across from a grown ass man and then they want to take whatever it is you know what i mean like my marriage and my shit is not up for discussion bro like when the fuck did what i'm 
dealing with what I'm going through become your comedy skit? When when did it become funny? What's funny? Anyway, I was, uh, uh, if y'all know him, text him, just tell him to call me back, you know? Let's be men. Let's talk. Let's chop. You know? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a real nigga just like you. So I thought I was right there in the room. The podcast is it's live, niggas. It's all on YouTube. <laughs> all in the comments. It's right there. We talked about it. Everything. My divorce, TGT, anything y'all niggas been coming at me about, I was right there ready for all the smoke. I'm sitting there by myself. I'm, I... Nigga, I hit the button to bring you up live. Your shit ain't going up live. So you you just, you once again, just doing it for the gram. So anyway, you got my number, bro. You got my number. I'm right here. Yeah. You got my voice notes. Joe got my number. Melissa Ford. They all know me. The topic is the topic. But you going a little far, and that, that that ain't it. So I'm not doing it for the gram, nigga. I, I just tried to bring you up live, nigga. You declining my live, so you clearly just out, out here running from the smoke. Anyway, y'all enjoy yourself. Y'all want to laugh at my. Laugh at my, my life. It's cool. It's cool. God is good. Good. God is good. But Joe, I appreciate the platform. I appreciate the opportunity to speak up. The crazy thing is, I know. Normally, I don't get a chance to chop it up that long. I was on there, feels like, felt like two hours or something, and we, we went all the way. I've never had, had a conversation about TGT and went that far. I never had a conversation about my divorce, never had a conversation about anything on that level, because even the Breakfast Club, my time was cut short. So I appreciate you. Joe for having me on. Joe be popping. He be taking shots at me sometime, you know, but it's all love. Shit just went live on YouTube, man. Um, you know, are you not entertained? <laughs> Appreciate y'all. All right, one. Yo, Tyrese, listen, man. I don't know what you mad about. Niggas don't talk about you up here at all. We don't talk about you. You cool. You came up here. You was you was calm. You was nice. We, we, we like that. Now you go on live talking about the nigga in the hot chair. I don't talk about you. Whatever old video you saw me talking about you, that's old. You be bugging. You was running around here acting like you want your marriage back. And then you over here with your lady. Shout out, beautiful. I respect her. But, man, come on, man. Go get a hobby or something. Go to church. You know, aren't you cool with all the past the T.D. Jakes out to them and, and Creflo and all of them? They go hang out with them and get a hobby. Because you nobody, know I don't want to hear this. Don't call me out. I know where you at. What's up? I'm not talking on live. I'm not, I told you to add me on Flip the Network and you didn't want to add me. Add me on Flip the Network. You want to talk and, yo, y'all talked about me up there and stuff and my family and my life and my wife. Check this out. We are going to talk about you if you go live every day talking about the same shit. Enough is enough. We heard you. We know what happened. We know what she did. We know what you did. We know you tried to take a flight back. We heard the same story. What you going to do new? Do something new. You got a new movie coming out? The Transformers or, 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 or Fast and the Furious 13? And stop playing with me, man. Stop calling me out. Queens. <laughs> Yeah.
All right, we the knockout kings of comedy. This your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Scroncho, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. No, I know me old. You fuck with lambskin condoms. <laughs> from Aldi's. The f*** wrong with you? Aldi's, you should eat this. We don't know what the f*** that meat is. No! For real, I heard a nigga get in prison. That's not the f*** the part about it. The, the part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my f***. It ain't no point of both of us get I step up, look him right in his eyes. He go to pat me down. Pop, 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 pop. $20, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> no, sir. First of all, can I ask y'all a personal question? Is this microphone really necessary? At this Punchline, punchline, punchline. You know how we turn. Give me a second.